OCO. As you heard, I'm a proud native of Oklahoma, but I am humbled to share the stage with so many distinguished individuals today as we celebrate the release of the Wilma Mankiller Quarter. This will be the first time that a quarter will feature the image of a Cherokee member, a coin that changes hands over and over and over again, prompting anyone who sees it who's not in the know to say, who is this? And perhaps inspire a little girl or even a little boy to become inspired about Wilma Mankiller and her remarkable perseverance that contributed so much to the Cherokee people world and people worldwide. As the first woman to serve as principal chief of the Cherokee Nation, Wilma Mankiller revitalized the Cherokee Nation through extensive community development, education, and health care programs. She tripled her tribe's enrollment, doubled employment, and built new housing, health centers, and children's programs in northeastern Oklahoma. Under her leadership, infant mortality declined and educational levels rose. Her leadership on social and financial issues made her tribe the epitome of success. After leaving office in 1995, she remained a strong voice in the advocacy for worldwide social justice, for Native people and for women. She received the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1998, the highest honor awarded to civilians in the United States. Many consider the coins that the United States Mint pr produces to be miniature pieces of art. Our artists face the challenge of expressing values, aspirations, shared heritage of a nation, and communication of the Mint medallic artist, Phoebe Hemphill. The reverse, or the tales as you may know it, depicts Wil Wilma Mankiller with a resolute gaze to the future. The wind is at her back, and she is wrapped in a traditional shawl. To her left is the seven-pointed star of the Cherokee Nation. Inscriptions include United States of America, E Pluribus Unum, Wilma Mankiller, Principal Chief, and the name of the Cherokee Nation written in the Cherokee syllabary. We have already released quarters honoring Maya Angelou and Dr. Sally Ride. Additional honorees in 2022 include Nina Otero Warren and Anna Mae Wong. Unifying the entire coin program is a new obverse, or heads, designed by one of the most prolific female sculptors of the 20th century. Laura Garden Frazier. The sometimes under-recognized or underappreciated accomplishments achieved by these women are a model of perseverance through adversity, especially in the case of the Cherokee, from adversity to obvious prosperity. It is amazing what you have done with this nation. Ms. Gina Olea and Ms. Felicia Olea, would you please join me? On behalf of the United States Mint, I am pleased to present two American Women Quarters, one from each of our production facil facilities in Philadelphia and Denver, to each of you and your families. Your mother was a voice of wisdom and guidance. 